this beautiful, lush area and a part of the world that uh, is known for the beauty of the people and the aesthetic beauty of the land. And you look at this and it is, it's gorgeous. You look at the mountains, I'm sitting here looking at a mountain range that just, and um, it's caused me to think and call this you know, the beautiful side of evil. You look at the people, you look at the country, you look at all this and it's just absolutely breathtaking. Spectacular, beautiful, but yet underneath this there's this terrible, heinous evil that exists and it's slavery and the trafficking of children. cut off legs, just maim them and hurt them so bad that the kids have no memories left. They don't remember anything so that they can't tell. They just completely torture the children until they have no more memories and then after that they teach them how to beg with all their deformities. So that's why you see all of the handicapped children and people begging in Bangkok, a lot of that is deliberate and then they're taught that they have to take that money and bring it to their leader. Some of them uh, they have massage, restaurant, barbio. I did see children. But of course, they is put somewhere else because they cannot openly, under laws, they cannot do that. This country is still the epicenter of pedophile activity, child pornography, child exploitation. Billions upon billions of dollars are being made from this abomination. Now it's a lot of kidnapping. Leaving summer alone, almost over 700 kids report that kidnapped. You see six, seven, eight-year-old kids being sold by the very country in which they live. The minivans would come through the village and tell the kids, come here, come here, come in here. We're going to give you candy, we're going to give you candy. And the kids that don't know any better, they'd go in the van. And then they would shut the doors and take the kids away. Two of my friends came down to Chiang Mai with them and no appear anymore until today. They don't come back. The parents very sad. It's done by evil, okay? It's people taking advantage of the poor. And you can walk down the street and you'll find men who seem to have had their heart and their, their conscience severed. They'll have a menu with little children's picture on it, with the sexual favors that they'll give you and how much each one costs, how this child must feel. How would you feel if your mom and dad rejected you, or if your mom and dad sold you into prostitution? And nothing more than a piece of property or commodity to make money. It's not obvious. Most people aren't really aware of it being a problem unless you work in the area. These things exist in our well in many places of the world. Some of the people who hear this, um, this interview and this tape, you're going to have grandchildren, man. You're going to have grandchildren that are five, six, seven years old. And I want you to imagine that that grandchild, that precious little grandchild of yours, would be sold into prostitution, would be sexually exploited. And as we're talking, these things are a reality. These are children. These are beautiful children. And they've done nothing to deserve this. They've done nothing.